Norm Rosen from RV Lifestyle Magazine and Power Boating Canada Magazine reporting from the 2018 Toronto International Auto Show. I have the pleasure of standing behind, beside a very proud Canadian, Mr. Jim Morrison, who is the Vice President for the North American Market for the Ram Truck Line. And Jim, you introduced the Ram 1500 Hemi this morning, the truck designed in Canada for Canada. It was spectacular. You know, as, as we were chatting uh, over the last couple of days, as the head of the North American product marketing team for, for Ram trucks, do you ever have a chance to just get out of the office, get behind the wheel of one of the Rams, tow a boat or a travel trailer, take the family and have a great time? You know, I, I would say that that's still probably something that I look forward to the most. Uh, in fact, I've got a lot of uh, hours and miles uh, behind the uh, uh, behind the wheel, mostly towing a, uh, a horse trailer. Horse trailer, uh, yeah. You know, a three-horse gooseneck is uh, is uh, what I've spent the most time hauling. Mm -hmm. uh, I've recently um, spent a little bit of time uh, with a 34-inch uh, or 34-inch 34 34 34-foot 34 Jayco, mm -hmm. um, you know, fifth wheel, and um, a little bit wider, a little bit heavier. Yes. So um, you know, love driving that with uh, with our doodle, our doolies. My uh, my daily driver is a three quarter ton Cummins, yeah. uh, so I uh, I get a lot of time uh, behind the wheel towing, and I really enjoy it. And you enjoy it, and you know it's so refreshing to have someone in the automotive industry who's in charge of a market line that actually gets out there and uses the product the same way as the, as the consumers use it. Well, so you you tow your you tow your horse trailer and you tow your fifth wheel, and you understand exactly what our readers need. Yes, uh, the information we need. Well, I think. I drive my engineers a little bit nuts because you know I'll, I'll come up with an idea or, or see something that we need to do better you know and I'll, I'll snap a picture and send them a text or send them an, uh, an email and uh, you know but it's it's a good way to keep uh, uh, the conversations going and I would say that the Ram team not just me there's a lot of us that mm -hmm. work our trucks hard yeah. you know and you know whether we're towing boats uh, to go fishing uh, or taking rebels you know into uh, the best fishing spot uh, or whether we're you know towing uh, 30,000 pounds trailers uh, with a one-ton uh, dually, you know, we're all working the trucks, and I think that's what separates the Ram team a little bit from the others, is that we, we know what our, our customers want, because we're part of that, uh, oh, yes. that group. Absolutely. Now, yes. our readers on uh, RV Lifestyle Magazine and Power Boating Canada Magazine, they have embraced the, the current generation of Ram trucks. Uh, they love these things, and your engineers in the last few years have included more and more standard and optional features that are specific specifically designed for trailer towing, boat trailers and RV trailers. Uh, how do you develop these special features? Well, you know, first it starts with, you know, the problem that you might have or the solution uh, to, you know, something that, that's just a little bit um, hard to do or aggravating to do. And I would say to you that, you know, our, our hookup uh, systems that we have are probably a great illustration of that, whether it be, you know, uh, using using this new 2019 uh, RAM for, as an example of, of what we've done. We have an air suspension that uh, raises the truck up to 10 inches of ground clearance mm -hmm. or can drop it all the way down to the, to the jounce bumpers. Mm -hmm. Designed to help with fuel economy and egress and ingress of the, the, mm -hmm. the truck, but what we found is it's great for hooking up a trailer. Oh, sure it is. And so you you drop the uh, the suspension, it drops mm -hmm. all the way down. You uh, you back up uh, the trailer, and there's actually even a zoom uh, on our uh, on, on our on our camera. Mm -hmm. uh, so you get right under the uh, uh, the, the, hitch the ball. ball and the hitch, yeah. and then you, you it raise easily. it back up. It's like playing a video game. It is. You uh, you don't have to even get out of the truck. I've actually, if it's a successful hookup for me. You don't even have to crank, so that's uh, you know that's what we've done. That's but outstanding. It's it, it is a lot of fun. So we use that you know uh, as as the technology, and we've evolved it to make it really easy for our customers. So yeah, it's uh, that's amazing. A good example. Now, now everybody seems to be focused on technology, and you've got lots in the 2018 and now in the 2019 models. What's just over the horizon as far as truck technology is concerned? What can we expect to see in three, four, or five years? Are you are you going to launch one into space like Elon? Musk did. Yeah, that was pretty cool, but I, I don't think that uh, I don't think that's in our uh, in our cards. But I can tell you a couple things. Um, 
that we've done just for the 19 that is mm -hmm. really going to help make uh, our uh, our life for our customers a little bit easier. One is we've got a, a new 360 camera uh, mm -hmm. that is incredible because you can see you know the environment whether you're backing into the boat launch and, and yeah. don't want to you know wipe out the hut that's beside you, oh, no. uh, or if you're uh, you know trying to park in a field of you mm -hmm. know trailers that are lined up, it really helps with that. The second thing I would say to you is the um, uh, the blind spot de uh, detection system that we have with our trailer coverage is very intuitive. Um, we've got a really nice way to uh, to hook it up. So when you get in your uh, when in your new Ram 1500, um, it recognizes that there's a trailer there. You make one right turn, one left turn. The sensors that are located in the back mm -hmm. of the lights understand the uh, length and width of your trailer. You mm -hmm. confirm that that's your trailer and that you want to do that. So you have one touch of a button and you're and you're driving. There's no awkward measure your trailer, get yeah. out, put it in the computer. It's the truck will do all the hard work for you. And and that's an example of you know really nice technology. Technology because now you're driving down the road, your the blind spot is covered in your truck, and the blind spot is covered, covered in, in your in your trailer too. So that's outstanding. Great technology. Outstanding. Now uh, on the magazines over the past couple of years, we've had the pleasure of test driving the 1500, 2500, and 3500 models, and we found them not only to be exceptionally fine handling trucks, but very good on fuel efficiency. Now you were mentioning that the, this new 2019 will lower itself to enhance the aerodynamics. Are there, are there any other uh, new technologies we should be aware of that uh, are going to enable you to deliver better fuel efficiency even as you have a stronger uh, truck with greater towing capacity? Yes, the 2019 Ram 1500 with eTOR technology is a great example mm -hmm. of that. It's basically mild hybrid technology that's been added to our V6s and our V8s. Um, so. For example, the the uh, the Hemi V8 has 410 pound-feet of torque. Yes. Having this e-torque motor uh, on the front of the engine now provides an assist of up to 130 extra pound-feet. So, you know, whether you're getting you know started with uh, with a 12,000 pound boat, uh, mm -hmm. or whether you're uh, you know just driving around town, it gives you extra performance and fuel efficiency because there's a 48 volt battery that mm -hmm. will re-deliver the uh, the the power that the engine has captured with braking uh, yeah. back to the uh, back to the engine so when you need the power. It's continually charging as you're driving. Yes, course. so it's it's great uh, power and great efficiency at the same time. Excellent, and and of course the the electric aspect would come in uh, for city driving where that's the biggest problem for fuel efficiency. Yes, it is really good. It's yeah. going to give us uh, we expect somewhere in the ten percent combined range. So it's yeah. it's great uh, way to get better city driving. So ten percent improvement on fuel efficiency. Yes, combined that, that's yes. outstanding. Yes. It is, and, and at the same time, delivering better performance. Exactly. So it's, uh, it's a nice combination. Exactly. You get to have your cake and eat it, too. Exactly. Now, <clears throat> when we took out the uh, 3500 uh, turbo diesel dually, yes. that's the top of the line with the big cab, four doors, uh, the gross vehicle combined the gross vehicle combined rating of the truck put it just into the category where here in the province of Ontario the driver was required to have a CVOR that's a commercial vehicle operators registration now that involves testing uh, the the exam is long hard uh, and it was only for like a hundred pounds capacity on the truck are there any plans uh, to to deal with that situation so of course the commercial truckers would have to have the CVOR but for the recreational users like the boaters and the RVers people towing a large uh, perhaps an offshore performance boat like we tow yes some cool uh, boats too those skaters oh, are amazing oh, yes oh yeah yes I love those. and and the uh, the very large uh, the, the uh, 38 through 39 40 foot fifth wheels with loaded to the gills uh, these are vehicles that, that really do very well with a one-ton truck yes and especially when you're on a launch wrap, a slippery launch wrap, you tend to want the diesel dually yes. in order to get the low end torque and all the grip of those tires in the back. Are there are there any plans to just slightly adjust the specs on the truck uh, so that uh, the recreational users don't have to go through the CVOR process? You know, I would say to you that... Um we do have a couple of options. One that is uh, on our, our single rear wheel, um, one tons, and um, 
and on our um, 2500s, they keep you under that category. Yes. We hadn't looked at it yet for the dualies, but based on our conversations, we'll go take a look yeah, and see it, what we it, can do. It really only it only comes into play with the uh, with the four door uh, turbo diesel dually. Yes. Because of the uh, the gross vehicle combined weight rating. Yes. Of the of the vehicle, which is uh, I, I believe it's uh, six thousand pounds or thirteen thousand two hundred twenty seven kilograms. kilograms. Yep. That is that is the point at which anything anything above that the driver has to have a CVOR and it's the driver's CVOR not the truck CVOR so anybody who drives that truck has to be certified yes uh, it, it I'll tell you I helped some of our crews study for those CVOR uh, drivers registration it teaches tests. you to be a truck driver oh yes. yeah yes. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes. oh well now that we've got the CVOR we, we can drive an interstate truck we could drive a, a, a Greyhound bus we could drive anything but all we really wanted to drive was was a Your boat to the 3,500 yes. one-ton turbo diesel dually. Yes. And, uh, of course, we're much better qualified drivers now that we have the CVOR than we would have been before we had it. But that's something you might want to look at because it, it's such a small variance Yes. just to get into that area. So below that, the recreational users could use the one-ton Opens truck. You up. Now, yes. the 3,500, the regular 3,500s, uh, without the large cab, without, with all, uh, without the Without a dually. dually. Yep. They're fine. automatically quite They're yeah. fine. You're underneath the CVOR limit. You know, and, and for the RV audience, most of them are fine just with a, with four wheels instead of six. Yes, and I, and I would say one of the things that we've uh, we've recently done with our um, package that we've added, we've added a new uh, max tow package to our one tons mm-hmm. for that exact reason. And, and it was with the RV um, buyers in mind. A couple things. One is we, we launched a new RV match brown to help uh, the yeah, trucks the match color. the trailer, which, yeah, it's nice. which you've had some great uh, comments. Yeah, uh, until the trailer guys our, start uh, painting them different colors. From, yeah, the brown is still pretty popular, so I think we're okay for a little bit. Um, but the other piece of it is um, we added in a new Max Tow package with mm-hmm. a, uh, a class exclusive 30,000 uh, pound fifth wheel plate that you can get with a, uh, you know, the the, uh, uh, the prep package that you get. So you automatically mm-hmm. have the uh, the wiring and the uh, the holes in the, uh, yes. in the box for the fifth wheel or goose neck plate um, and um, and we we can now take that up to 30,000 pounds so yeah, 30, the competition pounds. stops at 26 and uh, you know you might say to me hey you know that's a lot of trailer and it is but the RVs were growing and people are putting granite countertops and fireplaces and you know mm-hmm. and stretching out their RVs and what was happening was that was forcing a lot of um, customers up into the 4500 5500 uh, chassis which mm-hmm. you know aren't as nice as the pickup trucks so we wanted to make sure that we offered our pickup truck. So that's a nice way that we've expanded the capability of the top end uh, yeah. for uh, for those RVers. RVers, but especially for the boaters and the offshore performance boaters, and what they really like to see, they like to see a truck that's got the low end guts to get the, the vehicle up the launch ramp. Yes. And they also like to see the stability and the suspension. And when we drove, we drove that truck, we really loved the truck. Yes. And, you know, we've enhanced it again for 2018. Yeah. The new new uh, uh, Cummins is up to 930 pound-feet of torque. Oh, that's great. So 930 pound-feet of torque, 30,000 pounds of towing, best in class yeah. uh, for uh, for fifth wheel. So we keep pushing the, the uh, uh, limits of, yeah. uh, of what that technology will deliver. So And not only is it fun when you're towing, is it ever fun when you've got nothing behind oh, you? It's a blast to you, drive, you, you absolutely. Could, you can drive these trucks on a windy, curvy, uh, mountainous country road, and they handle beautiful Beautifully. They handle like a sports car more than a truck. Yes. We were so impressed when we had these out for th- three years. We used these for tow vehicles. They were outstanding. Jim, thank you very much. It's Great a pleasure to, to meet you. It's it's such a, a thrill to have a Canadian in charge of North America for Ram trucks. Uh, we are we are proud to be Canadian and proud that, that you had the opportunity to give us this interview. Thank you so much. Great talking to you. Thank you. Mm-hmm.